Hello and welcome to this short presentation on the feature enhancements in CA Privileged Access Manager 2.8.3. 2.8.3 provides three feature enhancements. The first feature enhancement is multi-session support for the CA PAM client in a Citrix ZenApp environment. Previously, the CA PAM client could only be launched from one ZenApp session. In 2.8.3, multiple users can launch CA PAM client instances from different ZenApp sessions. In a ZenApp environment, configure all TCP UDP services to have the listener wait for connections on a randomly selected available local port to avoid conflicts. To do this, enter an asterisk for the local port in the Ports field of the TCP UDP services panel. The 20 here configures the client application to use port 20 to access the destination device. The asterisk configures the client application to use a randomly selected available local port over which to wait for connections. The second feature enhancement is the addition of SMB2 and SMB3 support for SIF's network shares. Previously, the only server message block or SMB version supported for SIF's network shares was SMB1. In 2.8.3, the more secure SMB2 and SMB3 versions are also supported when configuring a SIF share for database backups and session recordings. To configure SIF shares to use SMB2 or SMB3 instead of the default SMB1, use the new SMB version control in the SIF settings. The final enhancement is the addition of Kerberos PIVCAC authentication support for mapping one smart card certificate to multiple accounts. Previously, the RDP smart card login dialog for authentication to Windows target devices did not include a username hint field to support mapping one smart card certificate to multiple accounts. In 2.8.3, the RDP smart card login dialog includes a username hint field, which is hidden by default and accessed by selecting add hint. That's about it. For more information, see the CA Privileged Access Manager documentation at https colon slash slash docops.ca.com. Goodbye.